Hey guys, so, uh, <clears throat> work on my bathroom remodel Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So today's the first day I actually got back out here to get to do anything. Um, I got a couple of new tools, and then I actually made a little bit of progress on this stuff here. I got all this. I got this one completely done. Uh, you can see there, all the welds are done, ground down. Looks real nice. Those are almost impossible, but matter of fact, they are impossible. Even with the smallest one of these I had, I couldn't get down in there to grind that, so I uh, went and bought that. This is made by Clutch. I don't know who makes Clutch. I don't know if that's a... I don't know. I got it at Northern Tool. It works phenomenal. It works phenomenal. I, I just, and I've got it on the lowest possible setting, and it just kicks ass. So if you guys are looking for one of these, uh, 69 bucks at Northern Tool. Um, so far, really, really impressed. And I've, I was also read somewhere that you can buy 3M uh, belts for these. So that makes them even better because 3M's got the best sanding belts. So last long, outlast these. I don't know whatever these are. Uh, I bought a couple of extras here. Uh, clutch air sender belts or whatever who knows who makes those but um, I guarantee you they're not as good as the 3M ones but anyway also got my hammer in that I ordered let me show you this bad boy it's a custom made from uh, Kinetic Customs I don't know anyway you can see Kinetic Customs um, and then he's got my Fireman 164 on there. And then, uh, yeah, it's got a hickory handle. It's been stained. Really nice. Really cool how he, he's got that twisted. Now, it's handmade. He makes these, these hammers. That'll go with my collection of these other ones here and here. So, basically, it can go there. Um, so yeah, very cool. So, so I give him a shout out. Um, you can find him on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and uh, it's under Kinetic Customs, and he makes uh, he makes hammers uh, from scratch, and they're awesome. So check him out. Uh, what else? That's about it. Uh, like I said, I just got this done today. Um, Went ahead and dressed down where the welds came through on this side. Went ahead and dressed those down. Um, same on this side. You can see they're all good to go. And uh, so, yeah, that just needs to be resprayed with epoxy on the outside here. And then the inside is going to have something welded. Going to have another piece welded to it. So this will actually... Uh, get weld through primer because they'll have some more stuff welded to it, which I won't be doing, but or at least as far as I know, it won't be. But yeah, there it is. I've got the other little pieces ready to go in, like this piece here for that one, and I'll start that one probably tomorrow. But you can see it's all and these are all there's three welds here. You can see where the dark actually weld thing come through. One thing I will say about this copper SEM weld, I was just talking to the guy I'm doing this uh, piece for today. One thing that you have to do, or at least in my opinion, when you're welding through, weld through, at least the copper stuff, and probably more so the zinc even, if you're using that, is turn up your welder. If you're just welding to, to bare metal like that, wherever your welder's set at, it, that works, that's probably great, but when you put two good thick coats of this uh, weld through which you really do need to do um, to protect your, your your pinch panels um, you're gonna have to turn your welder up I went from 2 I went from 2C I think to 3D on my welder and that's a full click up and once I did that man it welded just well you guys saw me weld the other day it welded perfect with with that you know doing plug welds and stuff like that that was sit at that setting um, so just just FYI on that and I'm welding 
I believe this is 16 gauge and that's 18 gauge, so I'm welding 16 to 18 and it it work it works fine. I don't have any problems with it. So the only issues I had was in some of the pitting, you know, where it was all pitted from rust in the past or whatever. Some of that epoxy didn't want to come out of those pits. Um, so that, that was the only issue I, I had with it. Um, and for me, from here on out, uh, what I will do, and this will be another tip to you guys. All right, so what I was saying, this is a perfect example. You see all that pitting? Um, you don't want epoxy over that because it's going to be a nightmare to get that out of there. That epoxy sticks, I'm telling you, and it's hard to get off. Uh, you'd almost have to sandblast it, which I did have to sandblast some of the stuff. I did it over there in the corner, and you can see there's freaking sand all over the floor. It stuff may, even, even with my little blaster, it still makes a mess. Um, this little speed blaster, it's really cool. It's got this little deal where you're supposed to be able to push it up against whatever, and it seals it, and it catches in this bag, but it doesn't catch everything. So just so you know, I can't do anything outside because it's been raining and stupid outside. So I just got over here and did a little bit of sandblasting to get down into the little areas like that because you can't otherwise it's just hard to get that stuff out of there I don't know if that um, you can scrape on it and you can do all kinds of stuff but the best way is to just take that little deal right there go right over top of it and blast it but the problem is it doesn't always seal so then it's going to shoot down into there and go up everywhere and, because you've got all these little grooves and stuff in it so but yeah just be aware of that if you're dealing with new metal, brand new stuff like this here, you're probably not going to have any any problems getting the epoxy right back off there. But if you're dealing with the older stuff, just be aware that if you've got pits, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get off. And this stuff has lots of it. So, so yeah, I'll be masking those off before I uh, before I spray epoxy on anything, and then coming back over with weld through on the on the in interior seams of those. So. Alright, see you guys.